Okay, estimate the delta H for the following reaction. So bond energies can be used to estimate delta H values, and they're actually very, very good. For the following reaction, we have CH4, which is methane, plus two Br2s, plus two F2s, goes to CF2, Br2, plus HBr, plus HF. And if I'm not mistaken, this should be a 2, and this should be a 2. So we have this equation here, and we want to calculate the delta H for this. Well, how do we do it? Well, we can do it just by sort of, we can get a pretty good value um, by just doing bond energy differences. Well, here's what we're doing when we're, when we're doing a reaction. We're breaking bonds of all the reactants, creating free atoms, and then we're putting them back together in a different arrangement. So, as it turns out, the delta H is going to be this. The delta H is going to be the energy of the bonds broken. So think about this for a second. It's the energy of the bonds broken minus the energy of the bonds formed. Energy of the bonds formed. Let me do this pictorially. The reactants are a certain energy. In order to break the bonds of all of the reactants, I need to put energy into it. Therefore, my energy is going to rise. It's going to go up here to create a bunch of free atoms. When those atoms recombine, well, they're going to recombine and they're going to release a certain amount of energy until they reach there, the energy of the products. This difference, that's the enthalpy. That's delta H. That's what's happening. I'm putting energy into the reactants to break the bonds. When the bonds form, they release energy back. They reach a certain level where the bonds create energy, but if there's any excess, it's given off as heat. Or if they don't have any excess, if they actually end up using more, then it's a positive delta H, negative delta H, endothermic, exothermic. That's all that's going on here. So I just wanted you to see this pictorial version. But analytically and numerically, it's the energy of the bonds broken minus the energy of the bonds formed. So let's go ahead and do that while I erase these. Just going to take up space so I don't want to end up leaving this picture here. OK. So now let's take a look at the bonds that we are breaking. We're breaking four CH bonds, right, CH4. So four CH bonds, that's going to equal four times 413 kilojoules per mole. And again, these values for bond energies, they're in your book, um, or they're in the back of the book, or they're in a CRC table, and they're, they're available in a list, or they're available on the web. OK, so that equals 652 kilojoules. We're breaking two BRBR bonds. So that's going to be two times 193 kilojoules per mole equals 386 kilojoules. Oh, in case you're wondering, this is kilojoules, this is kilojoules per mole. What happened to the mole? Well, here. This is actually four moles. One molecule of CH4, in other words, one mole of Methane molecules contains four moles of CH bonds. So four moles of bonds times 413 kilojoules per mole in the bond, that's, that's where the mole disappeared to, just simple. So two, we're breaking two FF bonds, and that's going to be two times 154 kilojoules per mole for a total of 308 kilojoules. When we add all of these up, we get 2,346 kilojoules. That's how much energy we have to put in to completely separate methane, bromine, fluorine into free atoms. Now we're going to form some bonds. Well, what kind of bonds do we form? We form two CF bonds, right? We form two CF bonds, so it's 2 times 485. I'm just going to write them down. We form two CBR bonds. 
that's going to be 2 times 276. We form two HBr bonds. That is 2 times 363. And we form two HF bonds, which is 2 times, wow, 565. That's a bit of a surprise. OK, 2 times 565. And when I add all this up, I end up with 3,378 kilojoules. When I take 2346 minus 3378, I get a delta H of negative 1,032 kilojoules. Negative delta H, this is an exothermic reaction. When methane, bromine, fluorine come together to form uh, CF2Br2 and two molecules of uh, hydrobromic acid, two molecules of hydrofluoric acid, energy is released. 1,032 kilojoules per every mole of methane that reacts. Highly exothermic. That's it.